What is going on everybody? Silver Scrounger here and today we are taking a trip into the past of the US Silver Quarter. So get strapped in and let's go. Quarter dollars were authorized in 1792, however, they were not minted and issued until 1796, along with the dime. And, like the dime, there are six main designs of the quarter, and they are... The Drape Bust Quarter The Cat Bust Quarter The Seated Liberty Quarter the Barber Quarter, the Standing Liberty Quarter, and the Washington Quarter. Now, I tried to get all of these into one video, but there's just so much to cover. So today, we're just going to talk about the Drape Bus Quarter, Cat Bus Quarter, and the Seated Liberty Quarter. We'll learn a little bit about the history of them point out key dates and talk about some going prices as well. But first, this video and the Constitutional Silver series is sponsored by Royal Coins and Jewelry. If you're looking for some specific coins for a collection or trying to stack some silver or gold for the lowest cost, you really need to go check out Royal Coins and Jewelry. Their silver and gold prices are drastically lower than online dealers and even beat out competing shops. You can stop by the shop if you're in the Houston area or check out their website at royalcoins.com. And yeah, I know, you're thinking, but scrounger, any savings on the price, I'm just dumping into shipping. Well, you can forget about that nonsense. When you go check out, use my promo code S S. You'll get free first class shipping, a value of up to six dollars. I will leave a link to their website as well as their Instagram page down below in the description. All right, so let's get to these quarters. First one up is the Drape Bust Quarter. The Drape Bust Quarter was only minted for five years. 1796 being the first year, of course, and then it skipped quite a few years until 1804, where it ran for the last four years till 1807. The 1796 quarter did not have a face value in the design, and that changed on the very next year it was minted in 1804. But it was not the quarter dollar like we see on today's quarters. It was minted with 25 C, meaning 25 cents. All five years will command at least a $300 price tag, and the 1796 quarter being an astounding $10,000 for a low grade AG condition coin. Of course, prices can only go up from there. There was a long break, eight years in fact, between the last year the Drape Bus Quarter was minted and the first year of the Cat Bus Quarter. These ladies were minted from 1815 through 1838, with a couple of years skipped in there. As for key dates, it gets a bit tricky. Most are going to be repunched dates such as the 1823, 1824, and 1825. All of these are repunched over the 1822 date. And any one of them will get you a bare minimum of $150. Then there are two years that has the 25C over 50C. Basically, the way it sounds to me is someone 
messed up, put the wrong denomination on the quarter die. So they had to go back and redo it. So the two years are 1828. And that one will cost you an easy $800 in a good condition. But the 1822 25C over 50C can be six times as much. Now, under our last design for today. And again, like the dime, the third design for the quarter is the Seated Liberty Quarter. This design had multiple varieties and were minted from 1838 all the way through 1891. The face value changed on it from the 25C to where it's now abbreviated quarter dollar. So it's got a Q-U-A-R period, D-O-L period. We also start seeing mint marks show up on the, this design as well, such as the O for New Orleans, S for San Francisco, and eventually the CC for Carson City in 1870, which happens to be the big key date coin for this design, the 1870 CC. There are several other key dates, but none that can demand a $10,000 price tag in a G4 condition. But let's see what some of the other key dates are. There are quite a few better dates for the Seated Liberty Quarter, so we will just mention a few that fetch a nice price, even in a G4 condition. And here we go. First is the 1842 O, but it's got to be a small date. Then you got 1849 O, that one in a good condition, just a G4, can be worth over $1,000. Then you got a 1854 O, but it's got to be with the huge O. And if you've ever seen one, you will definitely know the difference. And then continuing on, we got the 1860 S and 61 S. 1864 S, 1866, both Philly and S. 1867 S. The 1869 at thought I was going to say yes again, didn't you? But it's the Philly. And then, of course, we got the 1870 Carson City, which is actually the first year that Carson City Mint produced the quarters. Now, we also got the 1871, 72, and 73, both Carson City and San Francisco. Also, you might want to keep an eye out for anything between 1878S through 1888, as they are able to get a nice price for them as well. All right, there you go, the first three designs of the United States Silver Quarters. Next week, we will be covering the last three designs, and there are some interesting facts I've learned, and I can't wait to share with you. But until then, this is Silver Scrounger saying thanks for watching and keep on stacking. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas too. I want to thank everyone for watching my video. It is greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, found it informative or entertaining, please hit that thumbs up button by liking the video. Also comment on what you think about anything discussed. I'm always interested in to hear other people's thoughts. Until next time, this is Silver Scrounger saying thanks for watching and keep on stacking.